Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm doing another quick weekly recap of MMO news and announcements for the week ending March 20th. And as you can see from the video playing in the background, the first piece of news that we're going to take a look at has to do with Spiral Knights. And the news is that the game is launching on April 4th, 2011, so the game has a firm release date. And the thing about Spiral Knights is that the game was originally announced a long time ago and it looks like the game is actually going to come out as the developer Three Ring Studios recently partnered with Sega to publish the game. Graphically and gameplay wise, Spiral Knights actually looks a lot like Zelda. It's supposed to be a co-op action MMORPG, and it's supposed to play a bit like The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures, and in my opinion, that sounds pretty awesome. The company that actually developed Spiral Knights is also the same company behind Puzzle Pirates, though this game looks a lot different than Puzzle Pirates. Next up guys, Joymax announced that Silk Road Online Legend 7 officially launched. And Legend 7 adds a bunch of new stuff to the game. It is actually the seventh major content update to the game. We talked about this a little bit last week, but it basically adds a bunch of new skill sets to the game, titles and reputations, as well as new hunter and thief missions. Players can also expect a new redesigned crafting system that includes new siege weapons. And as I mentioned last time, the trailer you're seeing right now is actually for Legend 6. I couldn't find the video for Legend 7, so I am using an older video. Next up, guys, is an interesting new game announcement from Jagex. And the news came on March 14th. Jagex, the same company behind RuneScape, as well as War of Legends, announced a brand new MMO based on Transformers. Now, there's actually very little known about the MMO right now. And as you can see, the video playing in the background is not actually from the game, but is the old school cartoon. Now, all we know right now is that the game is set to release sometime in 2012. In Europe, North America, and New Zealand, Australia, Latin America, and many other places. Now there's actually very little known about the game as I mentioned earlier. Whether it's going to be a browser based game or a client based game has not been announced but with Jagex involved I suspect it will be a browser based game but the way I look at it it's still awesome to see a new game announced. It's always good to see new free to play MMOs. Next up guys, as of March 15th, 2011, Area Games announced that their new MOBA style MMO, Realm of the Titans, will begin alpha testing right away. Players can apply for beta testing, well alpha beta testing, up until March 28th. And the game is a MOBA style MMO, which is supposed to play a lot like Dota slash Heroes of New Earth slash League of Legends and MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. One thing worth mentioning is the game is Chinese developed, unlike League of Legends which was developed in the West through Riot Games. Hopefully the game does do well because I actually like Dota style MMOs and I'll probably be checking the game out myself. Now all of this is for alpha beta testing, there's still no official closed beta or open beta date out there yet. But the music in this video does sound pretty epic. Up next guys, on March 16th, 2011, Area Games announced a brand new title and the way I look at it, the more brand new titles out there, the better. The game is called Eden Eternal and it is supposed to be an anime inspired fantasy MMORPG as you can very much discern from the actual video itself. Now the video you're seeing right now is a simple cinematic trailer for the game which does doesn't show any actual gameplay, but the game is supposed to look like Grand Fantasia slash Kitsu Saga as well as other anime inspired games. Some of the unique features in Eden Eternal, well not really unique but defining features, is that the game will have 15 different classes as well as a unique player town system where guilds can actually create player towns. And between the 15 different classes, players can switch between classes as they choose, which actually sounds pretty cool. Now the game itself was just recently announced so there's no official date for closed beta, open beta or full release yet, though the game is accepting closed beta applications right away. Up next guys, Wargaming announced on March 17th, 2011 that World of Tanks will officially launch on April 12th. Now keep in mind, this is the official launch date, however you should also keep in mind the game is already out into open beta. And nowadays of course, I mention this pretty often, but open beta pretty much means full release. So for, for in the gamer's perspective, it doesn't really matter when the game is going to actually launch, because the game has been out into open beta already. Another small World of Tanks update is that the game plans to launch its clan war system relatively soon where clans will be able to vie for control over money rich provinces in the game on a global persistent map. And if for some reason the video didn't give it away, World of Tanks or the name or the game's name didn't give it away, it is a tank based MMO. Next up guys, Mission Against Terror reveals its March content update. Now this bit of news came up on March 17th, 2011 and it revealed that there will be new, numerous new weapons added to Mission Against Terror. The, the new weapons include the FAMAS, the Beretta 92, the QBZ 95 White Tiger, landmines as well as tear gas grenades. Other updates to the game include new permanent weapons including the AWP, the M4A1, the MP5 Navy and several other things. Now Mission Against Terror is published by Suba Games and is a 3D tactical MOFPS. This update is scheduled to go live later in March. The next bit of news which also launched on March 17th is also a bit of good news and that is Mythos is launching on April 28th. Now I do want to stress though, this is Mythos the European version published by Frogster. Though the European version should have no IP blocks so people in North America can play the European version. And if you haven't heard of Mythos, it's a 3D, 2.5D action MMORPG which is supposed to play a lot like Diablo 2 as well as uh, Battle of the Immortals. 
I should also mention the game's open beta begins on April 12th. Now the game launches on April 28th, but the open beta begins on April 12th. The game will be free to play, but players can also purchase a box copy of the game for bonuses in the game. The North American version of the game is supposed to be published by a company called Red Banna, but there's not much info on that yet. Up next is actually yet another bit of news on March 17th, and that's Dungeon Fighter Online previews Neuer Farah, a brand new dungeon area in the game. The dungeon itself is named the City of Neuer Farah and is located in Aphelia Post. The dungeon itself features 6 rooms full of zombies and is designed for players level 55 plus and will feature new equipment that increases attack damage, recovery time, and skill power. Power. Now this update will also make life tokens and potions easier to acquire for lower level players. And I should mention some of the videos you're seeing in the background right now is from this brand new dungeon. Up next guys, on March 18th, 2011, Jupiter reveals Epic 7.2 for Rappelt. And Epic 7.2 is the next Epic Expansion Pack slash update for Rappelt and is actually the second part of Epic 7, thus the name Epic 7.2. Epic 7.2 adds a new dungeon called the Vault of Lies, a rank 6 dungeon, the Ice Maiden, a new pet in the game, the Pet Stable system which lets players get experience for their pets while offline, new armor sets, and a new updated user interface. GPTO did launch a new teaser site for this new update, but there is still no official launch date for the update. And I should also mention the video you're seeing right now is actually an old launch trailer for Rappels. The next and last bit of news this week is that Trickster Online launches patch 2.36.2 which changes a lot of things in games. Kabbalah Relics, Oops Wharf, Mermaid Palace and other zones have received important updates to the game. Dungeons now have minimaps and experience and TM games have been improved. The job change quests in game have also been improved to be more interesting. Finally, the new Fiesta Zone is now available every 2 hours, but can only be entered twice every 24 hours. Anyway guys, since we have no upcoming games or recently launched titles, that's it for this week. And that's the week ending March 20th, 2011. And if you want to read about or learn more about any of the news I mentioned in this video, simply head on over to mhot.com news. Anyway guys, this is Omer, signing off.